first of all check your oil level regularly make sure the engine is warmed up then wait for two minutes so that the oil can settle down and then check the oil level the oil level should be just above the upper limit I've slightly overfilled it but make sure it's just above this line check your oil level every week change your oil and filter every 3000 kilometers it's very easy to do I'll quickly show you how however unlike other motorcycles Royal Enfields have three drain nuts and you have to open all three to fully drain the oil first of all this is the first drain nut which you'll have to open once you open that you'll have, you can drain some of the oil but not all however before you start draining make sure the engine is warmed up secondly you have to open these two nuts and pull out a metallic filter oil filter make sure you clean that up and then put it back again and finally this is the third drain nut which you have to open to drain rest of the oil once you drain all the oil make sure you put back all the nuts so that's one then these two and that's the third drain nut make sure they're properly tight and then you have to change the oil filter the main oil filter is here to change that you have to open these three bolts pull the oil filter out and replace it and when you replace the oil filter make sure you properly check or at least or replace the rubber sealant around them secondly make sure your drive chain is properly adjusted because if it is not properly adjusted it won't only damage the chain and the sprocket but it will also damage the gears you will notice that if the drive chain is slack or not properly adjusted it becomes harder to change the gears to check it move the chain up and down you can use a scale as well if it is more than 25 to 30 millimeters up and down you will need to adjust that it's very easy to adjust the drive chain to, to do that all you have to do is lose the main nut main, main wheel nut from here and use this device to make sure that the distance is same on both sides here you will see that it's 0 0.5 and you'll have to make sure that the other side is exactly same so there are a number of gaps here you'll just have to make sure that the both sides have equal number of gaps and the chain free play or the chain slack is within 25 to 30 millimeters so that's 0 0.5 here I'll go to the other side and quickly show and that's 05 as well make sure your, your battery is okay unlike older Royal Enfields new Royal Enfields don't work without the battery at all so if the battery is dead it's not only the self starter that won't work the whole bike won't work it won't simply run so make sure you open the battery terminal the battery cover I'll quickly open that after you open the battery cover check the fluid level first then make sure both the positive and the negative terminals are clean and properly tightened this is a brand new bike so it's okay with this one and while you have the cover open just quickly look over the connections here and make sure that they are properly tightened and I'll quickly just show you one more thing while we have the battery cover open with the 350 model or the carbureted model once every six months just slightly lose this nut and drain some fuel what that will do is it will click keep the carburetor float clean with the bs4 models or the euro 4 models the headlight is on all the time and that puts extra load on the battery so the battery needs to be checked every three to four months and just make sure it's working perfectly because without the battery as I said before the bike won't run at all fourthly check some of the most important nuts and bolts regularly and make sure that they're properly tightened
because Royal Enfields are single cylinder thumpers and they don't have a balancer shaft they vibrate a lot more and that affects the tightness of the some of the most important nuts and bolts I'll quickly go over over the bolts that needs to be checked every six months or maybe three or four months that's better first of all check the front bolt make sure that's tight both of these bolts because they hold the, hold this and the brake in place as well then the main head bolt make sure that's tight these two nuts this one this one this one remove this cover and check the swing arm this one 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 both of them check the oil filler cap and finally this nut just make sure that they're properly tightened check them every six months that will keep you much safer on the road fifth make sure your front and rear brakes are working perfectly first of all check check the caliper make sure there are no leaks from here and make sure that the line the brake line is fine check the brake shoes quickly check the brake oil level from here if the oil level is low don't just top it up if the oil level is low it means that the brake pads are low as the brake pads goes down and the brake oil level goes down so don't just top it up simply replace the brake pads check the rear brake regularly as well you can tighten or loosen the rear brake from this nut if you turn it clockwise that will make the rear brake tighter or if you turn it anti-clockwise it will make the rear brake loose whenever you adjust the rear brake make sure you put the bike in double step and after adjusting the brake when the bike is in neutral make sure that the wheel can turn freely if the wheel doesn't turn freely you will damage the brake and the bike as well and to check the level of the rear brake use this indicator here sixth make sure your air filter is clean to check that open this side cover that's the air filter you can visually check it just by removing this knot you can remove the air filter make sure it's clean because if the air filter is dark that will affect the performance and the fuel economy of the bike it's best to change the air filter at least once every two years and if it is dirty more often finally make sure both your front and rear tires are in best possible condition to check the tires on the side of the tire you'll see a tire wear indicator that's this one here if you follow the tire wear indicator you will see three dots here as soon as these three dots are touching this level the life of the tire is gone so make sure you replace the tire as soon as these three wear indicators are close to the uh, edge it's a good idea to change the tires every four years even if you don't use the bike a lot to check the age of the tire check the date stamp every tire will have a date stamp so in this tire it's it's a four digit number for every tire in this tire it's 4816 meaning that the tire was built on the 48th week of 2016 so that's less than a year old if this was saying say for example 1717 that would mean that the tire was built on the 17th week of 
2017 check the direction of rotation these are directional tires so this must be installed properly i've seen tires which were not properly installed so that's the direction of rotation if it's not properly installed that will seriously affect the way that the tires grip the road and finally make sure that the tires are properly inflated they must not be over or under inflated front tires should be between 25 to 30 psi and the rear should be between 32 to 35 psi and one final thing before every ride i make sure all the lights and the indicators are working properly that's something you should be checking before each and every ride thank you very much for watching the video guys i hope you guys liked it if there if you think i've missed something please feel free to add in the comment section and ride safe all the best